I hope that from the Youth Leadership Summit, people will learn that there's other people out there with the same interests, the same motivation to go forward, make connections as them, and that it's really not that hard and we can all grow together. My involvement with the Youth Leadership Program is mainly setting up the calls, gathering the people, and working on skills with my peers. Well, I came into the Youth Leadership Program when in, I was in the summer of 8th grade and I fell in love with it ever since. I just joined a Zoom meeting one day and ever since then I've been, you know, regularly going and involved in the Youth Leadership Program. I would say definitely give Toastmasters a try because skills are broken down in each session and you'll get a lot of practice out of that and make sure you're using those skills outside of the sessions so that you can apply it to the real world. It's just putting yourself out there. Don't think about what anyone else says. So just go for it because if you restrain yourself from speaking, you won't have that opportunity in the future. In the youth leadership program that you don't have to know what you're doing all the time. Like, even if you just try something new, it's okay. And most people in the world are forgiving and will help you out and let you grow. Hey, just take that leap of faith, you know? Just put yourself out there. Don't, don't care about what anyone else has to say. I think that's the first step. You just have to say hello. That's really it. You just have to see somebody and say, hi, my name is Anya and I would like to learn about you. Confidence means openly and freely speaking without having a doubt and not doubting yourself. I think confidence to me is having enough faith in yourself to just take the first step, just move forward. And most of the time, that's the hardest step is just getting started. And once, you, once you've taken the first step, you can keep going further. It really improved my speaking, which also helped me make connections with other people and helped me put myself out there and be who I am today. I think first of all, just joining the club, putting yourself out there and just taking trust into the program. Because again, we're working on those skills. We're working on enhancing those skills for the future. I think you need to stop worrying about maybe I'll be, maybe somebody's gonna say something really mean or I'm gonna fail. It's like, maybe, but how can you know that if you never try? And instead think about the positives. like. I could meet somebody new that I really, I make a great connection with, or maybe I'll be the best person to make a speech. And if you think that way, if you have a positive mindset, it's a lot easier to get started. Like if I didn't make any connections, I wouldn't be where I am today. I think connections are very important to me because I couldn't have made any of the friends that I have today or ha learned a lot from my teachers if I just stayed quiet, sat in the back all alone and to myself. If you really have to go out there and meet new people, learn from others because nobody is going to have the same experience as you and there's so much that you learn from meeting others and not just living in your own little bubble. If you don't speak up now, then you may not have that opportunity in the future. So it's definitely a good thing to have. Just believe in yourself. Go for it. Just if something goes wrong, it's okay. Just keep going. It's okay. Mistakes happen. It's just what you learn from them is what matters. Hello friend, you're low on confidence, I get that, but you shouldn't be because I trust you and you should have faith in yourself that you can do it and what's the worst that can happen? Someone will say no, you should have enough confidence to do it again and again and keep trying until you make that connection, you make that speech because I know you can do it. Life is short, so just go for it and maybe something good will come out of it. Yeah. Just do it! Do this! <laughs>